Hey, it's Jay, your Florida Realtor, serving Tampa Bay and beyond. And today I am sharing some of the latest trends, market data, and key insights into the new construction market here in the Tampa Bay area. Whether you're upgrading, downsizing, or relocating to the area, this information will help you make a better decision. As of September 2024, the new construction market in Tampa Bay is booming. We're seeing strong demand with about 12,000 new homes currently under construction across the region. The average price for a new construction home in Tampa Bay is around $480,000, which is up 4% from last year. Some of the most popular areas for new builds include Wesley Chapel, Riverview, and Apollo Beach, and then there's Dade City, Odessa, Wamama, and on over to Lakeland. These areas offer a range of options from starter homes to luxury properties. Wesley Chapel, for instance, has seen a 6% increase in new home construction with an average price of $450,000. Riverview is not far behind with an average price of $430,000. Now, in comparison, the average existing home sale prices in Tampa Bay is right around $450,000, St. Petersburg being $440,000, and Wesley Chapel being $434,000. But there are some affordable new construction homes around $300,000 with lots of incentives at this time as well, and I know where they are. Major builders like Lennar, Pulte, MI Homes, and DR Horton are heavily invested in these areas, offering a variety of floor plans and community amenities. Now let's talk about some pros of buying new construction. Customization. One of the big advantages of new construction is customization. You can often choose your finishes, layout, and even certain design elements to make the home truly yours, such as floors, countertops, cabinets, and finishes. Energy efficiency. New homes are built with the latest energy efficient materials and technologies, which can save you money on utilities in the long run. Low maintenance. Everything is brand new, meaning fewer repairs and maintenance costs in the first few years. Many builders also offer warranties that cover major systems and appliances. Modern amenities. New communities often come with modern amenities like clubhouses, pools, and walking trails, enhancing your lifestyle. Now let's talk about some cons of buying new construction. Higher costs. New construction homes can be more expensive than resale homes, particularly when you factor in a lot of premiums, upgrades, and customizations. Location. Many new communities are in developing areas, which might mean longer commutes or less established infrastructure compared to older neighborhoods. Wait time. Building a new home can take several months, so if you need to move quickly, this might not be the best option. Many do have quick move-in homes that are done or close to being finished. Less customization, of course, but you don't have to wait so long to move in. Limited negotiation. Builders often have less flexibility on price negotiation compared to individual sellers. Now let's talk about some current incentives and advantages. Builder incentives. Right now, many builders are offering significant incentives to attract buyers. This can include covering closing costs, offering mortgage rate buy-downs, and providing free upgrades like premium flooring or countertops. Also, many include washer and dryer, kitchen appliances such as stove, microwave, dishwasher, refrigerator, or even blinds, financing perks. Some builders work with preferred lenders to offer special financing packages, which can include lower interest rates or reduced fees. Either way, we can help you find the right lender with the best financing opportunity for you. Community amenities. New developments often come with enticing community features like resort style pools, fitness centers, and parks and walking and biking trails that add value to your investment. There are also other communities and builders that don't offer all of these features, which allows for lower HOA and no CDD fees to make your new construction home purchase even more affordable. Some tips for choosing a new construction home in Tampa Bay. Disclaimer, always have your realtor contact the builder first for you or go with you the first time you look at a new construction home, or you may not be able to have them represent you. Research builders. Not all builders are created equal. Look at reviews, ask for references, and visit model homes to get a feel for the quality of their work. Understand the timeline. Be clear about your timeline and ask the builder about potential delays. Make sure to get everything in writing, including estimated completion dates. 
Budget wisely. Factor in all costs, including upgrades, lot premiums, and HOA fees. It's easy for the final price to creep up as you select finishes and options. Visit the community. Visit the area multiple times at different times of the day to get a feel for the neighborhood and its surroundings. And as mentioned, work with a realtor. Have I mentioned that before? Having a realtor on your side can help you navigate the process, negotiate on your behalf, and ensure you're making the best investment decisions, including all of the things mentioned in this video. You can go to showingnew.com forward slash jstrong to see a variety of new construction opportunities in one place. You can send your information to me directly from the site if we haven't been in touch already, or contact me at the information provided in this video. So whether you're upgrading, downsizing, or relocating, Tampa Bay's new construction market has something for everyone. Whether it's location, price range, amenities, features, low HOA fees that matter most to you, if you're considering a new home, I'm here to help guide you through the entire process. Feel free to reach out to me at the information on the screen or leave a comment below with any questions. Let's find your perfect new construction home together. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with anyone who's thinking about buying a new home. Stay tuned for more updates, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me again.